I'm Terry Sullivan and I'm the former CEO of Cancer Care Ontario and currently working with the Canadian Partnership Against Cancer in the uh, improvement of performance and reporting on performance across Canada in cancer services. So why are nurses more, not more implicated in colon cancer screening activities? Well the fact is nurses from the beginning have been involved in rules related to a flexible sigmoidoscopy. So Kaiser pioneered this initially, but in the UK nurses have been involved in examining patients using flexible sigmoidoscopy for some time. This has a range of um, you know, desirable features in contrast to colonoscopy because you don't need uh, sedation. It's more acceptable. It can be done in the office. Uh, Secondly, because of the emergence of new evidence from trial, a, a big English trial in particular, we've always had some evidence that flexible sigmoidoscopy was uh, sensitive in detecting colon cancer. It now looks like there is a fairly significant mortality benefit that outperforms stool testing in detecting uh, colon cancer. There's now, I'd say, a slightly higher imperative to consider a flexible sigmoidoscopy. Thirdly, we've now got emerging evidence led from Ontario initially actually suggesting that uh, colonoscopy may actually miss a bunch of the tumors that are not seen by uh, flexible sigmoidoscopy. Uh, so there is again further evidence that it may be a beneficial procedure. So why don't we have more uh, use of flexible sigmoidoscopy in Ontario. Well, we've actually trained a cohort of nurses, a significant number, close to 30 nurses in Ontario with a very high quality curriculum, working hand in hand with gastroenterologists in the development of the curriculum, in the competency assessment, in the, in the endoscopy suite. And uh, the challenge is finding a place for these nurses to work and finding a way of attaching them to um, a systematic approach to screening and I think that's really the next step for Ontario is to figure out how to do this. Finally, <clears throat> nurses can be involved in a set of areas and advanced practice nurses in particular in the assessment of patients in before they have endoscopy, taking that step out of the sequence, particularly for uh, patients who may not be symptomatic or simply uh, are, are showing up and wanting primary uh, uh, fle flexible sigmoidoscopy as a screening option and we have to find a way of embedding it in the options that are available within Ontario and uh, finding a way of attaching nurse sigmoidoscopists and endoscopists to the range of resources that we currently offer in Ontario to screen patients so that we can raise the participation rate.